This meeting, uh, we presented a poster on an update on the AMG 510 uh, in patients with KRAS G12C mutation. Uh, this is based on the cutoff on July 17, and uh, at this point, we presented safety data on 76 patients with a variety of tumor, predominantly non-small cell lung cancer and colorectal cancer. Uh, on this study, we've shown that uh, there is now much, some maturity on the response, response rate data. Specifically, we have seen that uh, approximately half the patients with non-small cell lung cancer have an objective response. Uh, and the majority of patients with KRAS G12C, whether it's uh, non-small cell lung cancer and colorectal cancer, uh, have disease control. Uh, in colon cancer, uh, 29 patients uh, were evaluable for response, uh, and in that setting, uh, we have seen that 79% uh, of patients uh, had disease control, either stable disease or response. The response rate in colorectal cancer was lower uh, than in non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, AMG 510 is a small molecule and it binds specifically to the cysteine moiety on the KRAS G12C. Uh, uh, and by binding to the cysteine moiety, it basically blocks the KRAS G12C from uh, being activated by blocking it from binding to the GTP, which makes it active, uh, therefore completely deactivating G12C. Yeah, we, we basically presented safety data on 76 patients, and uh, the nice thing about this agent is because it's very, very specific to KRAS G12C, it doesn't really have that much of an off-target uh, inhibition, uh, and most of the toxicities were grade one, grade two toxicities. Uh, very few grade three toxicities were noted. Uh, they were diarrhea and anemia. Uh, we're really waiting for the data to mature further as far as the uh, progression-free survival and overall survival of these patients. Uh, clearly, there is activity. I think it's robust in non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, there are several studies now looking at uh, AMG 510 in combination with uh, other agents. Uh, specifically, uh, there is a study launching uh, combining AMG 510 in combination with immunotherapy as well as another study looking at AMG 510 uh, uh, or an arm looking at AMG 510 plus a MEK inhibitor. We believe the combinations may result in better activity. Specifically, we want to interrogate those in, in colorectal cancer to see if the responses will be better. We have inter interrogated AMG 510 as well in uh, non-colorectal cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, KRAS G12C is quite rare in uh, non-colorectal and non-lung cancer. In non-small cell lung cancer, it's about 13, 14% of patients. In colorectal cancer, 3%. But when you look across other solid tumors, it's only about 1%. But we have seen activity uh, with disease stability as well as response rate uh, noted in uh, patients with appendiceal cancer. Uh, and there's a patient also with small bowel cancer that has also had stable disease on the study.